And we're live! Howdy, all! It's the Hidden Object Guru here for games. But I assume. It'd be weird if I was here for something other than games. No, I know. Uh, let's see. Got the messages thing opening. Harbinger50 hosted me this afternoon. That's weird. Oh, no, that was last night. Was it? Anyway, not in back. No, that's when I stopped streaming. Uh, what happened, Maddie? Ah, there we go. Mm. All right, so let's load up my uh, P PS4 viewer because that's what we're going to be playing for most of the show tonight. <coughs> Oh, it does not seem psyched to load, does it? Oh, there we go. Volume, please. Yeah, maybe uh, empty recycle bin so there's room to record the things you're going to play there. Silly. I've never played the Flash version of Isaac. Or have I? Like, do you mean a browser version, or was the, uh... Hmm. Or was, like, the original game made in Flash, the one I got on, uh, Steam? Oh, I saw your message, Hans. Um, here's a crazy question. Excuse me. Is it possible that the game is written in, uh, the text is written in Spanish? I mean, he's a Spanish developer. Like, is that, is that a crazy idea? The original game is the Flash version. Okay. Now I know that. Nice. How many more, uh, battles till you get that leopard, Maddie? All right, so let's load up the screen and we can get started. Boop. All right, the first game of the night is something called Rico, which, uh... It's not about a character named that, but uh, the racketeering crime uh, law, which racketeering something criminal organization. I'm sure they'll explain what it means. Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Rico, a co-op focused cell shaded shooter that uh, comes out today, as I understand it, or maybe tomorrow. Welcome to San Amaro, the poster child for the American dream. That's why she has a, a British city accent. city where any street criminal can become a kingpin, and every meth head is an entrepreneur. The city oh my god! Is in the she did not say that word. of organized crime since prohibition. While the police have been tackling the symptoms of this problem, the heads of the criminal it's just syndicates just this look a lot like APB. Town have been allowed free reign to build their empires and their wealth. The RICO oh, Act was passed in 1970 to strip the mob bosses of their thin veneer Racketeer of influenced and corrupt organizations. Prosecutions are rare and take time. In today's world, time is not a luxury that we possess. My name is Commander Karen Redfern, seconded here from British Counterterrorism ah. Command. And I'm here that because it. I have a reputation for finding difficult people for difficult jobs. You come from Adorbs. a range of backgrounds, police, military intelligence, FBI, secret service. But you have been hand-picked because you have one thing in common. You know how to get things done. The newspaper is called Sometimes The Daily News. Headaches for your superiors. You have the skills and the attitude that are needed to resolve these cases with a certain sense of expedience. 
Oh, PS3 style graphics. I've missed you. Where there is an immediate threat to the American people and a legal case cannot be built in time, then we step in. And just we murder criminals? Criminal organizations. We will break apart these gangs, we will track down their bosses, and we will bring them to justice by any means necessary. If you succeed, you'll be quiet heroes. If you fail, they won't be playing dead at your funeral. That was bleak. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rico. It's never a good sign when there are uh, frame rate hitches in an opening movie, which presumably is not being rendered in real time. Uh, dispatching all currently active agents. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Gotcha. Yes, I would like to do this uh, tutorial. Welcome, Thank agents. You. It's time for your mandatory training. Oh, it's not training. when you play. You've all been through this before, but the particulars of our organization require some unique learning points. You know the drill. You'll be kicking doors and shooting bad guys. You'll need to breach oh, rooms. Oh, we're doing the slow down. Need to do it regularly. Some of our more gung-ho agents have found that sliding into combat <laughs> is an effective technique. Uh, holding Some of them Aldous are Sprint is no never a good idea. With us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, can you can use Sprint Co-op. It's weird. Chaotic. Do not shoot your partner. Communicate with one another. Mark Aww. your targets, locations, and time your breaches. Cooperation so you're saying you can uh, reach rooms in close proximity to one another to maintain your tactical edge. Nice. Uh, so you're saying you can like kite around a room, getting infinite health. For those of you who choose as to long go as you alone, keep a slow guy alive. Hope that the heightened adrenaline helps you out. Well, I we hope only so. have limited intel about your environment, so go with caution. All right, I think I can figure it out from here. Quick case daily. Ooh, fancy. New case. Medium difficulty. The People versus Li Yim. Time remaining 24 hours. What are you talking about? Alright. Hateful Cartwheel Kill House. Oh, they're doing the randomized name thing. That's nice. Player one pistol. Okay. Is that it? Is that all we've got? That is. Okay, I'm gonna have to level up a lot. By the way, I like that it didn't bother telling you what the buttons do. Locked. Guy figured. Yeah, that sounds like a... Alright, let's do this, so... Let's turn that uh, sensitivity way down. Obviously, you turn off screen shake. I'm not a masochist. Perfect. That should be good. I'm going to look at the control maps, obviously. There we go. All right. Controls, control maps. All right, so aim down sights. Yep, grenade throw type two. It's weird. Fire quick grenade. Nice. Indicate map. Change weapon. Reload. Crouch. Aim. Melee. Sprint. How do I pick up? Select grenade. Interact heal is how you pick up. Oh wow. Yeah, that seems like that would be very easy to beat the game. All right, let's do this. Wow. Did I not just turn down the... <laughs> I thought I had turned it down, like, a lot? Oh, I didn't apply. All right, now I'm a dummy. That, that one's on me. All right, here we go. Or I hit B. There we go. Front side, everybody. Let's get ready to breach. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Oh, it's a training room. Oh, wow. 
the uh, the dead zone swinging around. Really awkward on the controller. Although that was a nice headshot. Oof. You know, in an amazing coincidence, this isn't a coincidence, it's just what happened. Don't know why I prefaced it that way. Uh, these developers also happened to send me a... It's like there's too much of a dead zone on the thumbstick in this game. Oh my god, they put a wood has been shot bullet hole on top of the, uh... On top of the, uh... Padlock. There we go. Uh, the padlock model. I stopped talking because I uh, had to reconnect my controller. Okay, so, yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're not judging Rico. We're not gonna say anything about Rico. In an amazing coincidence, which again is not actually a coincidence, they also sent me a copy of this game on, uh, PC. And since these controls are really not working for me at all on... I want to point out that I play first-person shooters on the uh, PS4, and I do not normally have these kinds of problems with, uh, there we go, control, control scheme, so I think there's something weird going on here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to come back to this game tomorrow using the mouse, and... Uh, Hopefully I will have nicer things to say about it, because this is not making a... That was weird, right? Aha! I was about to say, wait a minute, are they saying... Uh, my health is both a medical sign and a syringe sign? But that probably means I have like one revive or something. I saw that. Oh, I guess I have to shoot the lock off first. Makes sense. Which is weirdly difficult to do. Hey, um, developers. I mean, if you ever see this video, I don't know why you would. Oh, no, you just can't unlock that. Okay, that's fine. If you ever see this video... Oh, I haven't killed everybody yet. Duh. <laughs> okay, now I feel silly. Um, yeah. If you ever see this video, here's my little tip to you. Totally minor thing. I think it might help. Uh, maybe study how uh, other console games kind of have the habit of, you know, soft auto-aiming. Like, not, not real auto-aiming. It doesn't do the aiming for you, but kind of like soft snaps you to whatever you want to shoot. Just a heads up. People tend to like that sort of thing. I know I do. Uh, the entire, as Maddie said, Halo's coming out on PC... The entire Halo franchise is built on soft snap auto-aim. Auto-aim that doesn't feel like it's doing the aiming for you. Just makes you feel like a badass, but really, the game is doing, like, in Halo, 60% of the aiming for you. And it's so good that you don't really notice it. Can I get more ammo during the missions, or, or what? Have I cleared all the rooms? I've cleared all the rooms. Nice. But I haven't found all the evidence. No, I haven't cleared all the rooms. Why is there an X on clear all rooms if I haven't done it? Oh, that was within X amount of time, and they're telling me I've failed. Okay. I, too, enjoy some of the Halo games. I'm not going to say they're all great. That would be a lie. But uh, there are many high-quality Halo games. Oof. I'd like to point out that in a real-life situation, I would have been murdered 10 to 12 times by now. Hey! Two birds, one stone. Nice. Oh, right. There were two attached rooms here, so... On the upside, at least they're letting me shoot as quickly as I can pull the trigger. So, a lot of games don't bother doing that. Oh, did I forget something in the other room? Was that health? That was health. No, it was bullets. I don't know why I thought I saw a, uh, like a red cross up there. Maybe I'm crazy, but it felt to me like that guy, uh, 
when he popped up, he actually knocked the piece of the door to the side, which would make me pretty happy. So the steel case had a laptop in it. Weird. No judgment. Uh, how we doing? Oh yeah, I can mark targets for my uh, buddy. With whom I am not playing the game. How we doing, map? Oh, you never played the original Halo? Combat Evolved? Well, I hope you enjoy the modernized version of it. That, appear that appears in the Halo pack. It's funny how um, Halo the Master Chief Collection started out with just them trying to do a remastered Halo 2 the same way they had done a remastered Halo. And then at some point they're like, ah, screw it, just throw all the other games on there too. Because, like, they've totally done a massive, high-quality reproduction of, uh... <laughs> of Halo 2 totally revamping the graphics and changing everything about it, and then all of the other games kind of look like Xbox 360 garbage. It's very weird. Uh, it's weird, because it's, it's the exact same game, and this is what came up in my review... It's the exact same game, right? And it's the exact same game, but they, like, redid all the graphics. So it's got this weird conflict where, because there were such limited resources in the, uh... Oh, that's cute. Hateful cartwheel. Terrible. Four merits. Nice. I can unlock a shotgun? Uh, I would love a shotgun. Thank you. Duckbill choke, nice. So now you can choose which one you want to do. What kind of mission? Comfortable tomahawk. Abhorrent mouse trap. Rapid blizzard. Strong pig stick. Oh, so it's office, apartments, construction site, mansion. Oh, cool. So there's different biomes. You know what? This seems like it's going to be interesting. I'm I'm going to like trying this out tomorrow on the PC. But for right now, walking vegetables. Is that true? Hmm. Yeah, that just... I mean, it could be largely my problem with controlling stuff with thumbsticks. Although, again, I do play first-person shooters on consoles. I just feel like this is a PC first-person shooter, and they have not really tweaked it. Let's move. So, uh, Walking Vegetables is back. I know you're excited about that. I sure as heck if I am. Unlive... Some vegetables during fire. Feed 30 animals to enemies total with the last bullet of your gun. But guns don't have limited... B oh, in your inventory, yes. Boomerang. Yeah, so if um, once you've unlocked one perk, you get it here. Through one campaign, picking up... Bro, or into chaos, it was in your mouth... So, complete one level without picking up any guns, melee weapons, or items. If they've fixed the health of the bosses in this game... I've always felt Halo's biggest problem is the inclusion of grunts. Because the point of grunts is supposed to be that, like, you're supposed to meet them early in the game and you just kind of walk through them. Oh, nice. So you get instant hit. And they, uh... All of your weapons instant hit and all of their weapons have uh, travel speed. Travel time, sorry. Makes sense. Add that to a generous helping of auto-aim and whoo doggy. Does that thing help you out? But yeah, 
So you're fighting these grunts and the whole thing's supposed to make you feel like a badass. Which it would if it weren't for the fact that the grunts are ridiculous enemies that don't seem like a threat at all. Like, if you start out the game being a scary dude who can take down monsters, and then you run into worse monsters and it becomes a challenge, great. But it's like, the grunts have ridiculous comedy voices, and it seems like no grunt would ever be a threat to any human ever. That's true. Although I don't know that I've ever had an encounter with uh, specifically grunts that has ever felt difficult. I would just die already, would you? So, weird problem with this game. So, your attack has two weapons. Uh, your uh, melee weapon has two kinds of attacks. That is a swing, right? And you do the swing. I really don't think I should always have to waste a key to open chests, because keys are always in such sort short supply. But anyway, uh, and then there's another attack you do when you're close enough to hit a dude, and I'll show that. So, in a in a game that I think was slightly better constructed, this would just be the range of your melee attack, right? But, and if you got that close to a guy, it's fine. You hit him, and if you're not that close, you don't hit him. But your melee attack is also used for, used for bouncing back shots, so it's still useful to have. See what I'm saying? But if you watch closely, when I get within X amount of distance between a guy, I don't just swing my bat at him, I teleport towards him. And this, I mean, may not immediately seem like a problem to y'all, but it is a problem. Because many game, um, because your attack, your club attack, does no knockback damage. Right? Like, it doesn't send guys sprawling backwards. Or stun guys, even, really, a noticeable amount. As a consequence, you were in this weird situation where the game auto-closes you into an enemy who's walking towards you, and if your attack doesn't finish him off, he basically gets a free hit on you. It's a weird mistake to make, but it's, it's right there in the core of the game, and that kind of bothers me. I mean, the sledgehammer is obviously better because it is one-shot killing dudes. I'm trying to imagine how I would even do the the achievement of killing dudes with the last bullet in your gun. That is an awesome chest. And I got a baseball. <laughs> That's not as useful because it can't make enemies' shots get knocked back, which becomes vitally important in lever. Yeah, that's true. If you add in a crazy knockback on the guy you hit, you'd fix this game. And, for example, it doesn't knock back bosses. That would be it. You've fixed the problem with this game. But no, like, they, they've never added that knockback. So it's still, like, just that touch harder than it should be. But you're right, it's an easy fix. I feel like anyone could, could know that. Although, I gotta say, the new map. Uh, this is the PS4 version of the game, obviously. I loaded on a PS4. Uh, the new map is a godsend. Oh my... It's totally changed the game. Like, now you can actually figure out where you are, what houses you've been in, where the enemies are, if, like, there's some guy hiding in the left the area and you can't complete it. Like, it's amazing. Also, you can load up the map and watch all of the enemies spawn in. And it's kind of funny. Oh, crap. So, one issue. Not a big issue, but it is an issue. Uh, there is a lot of... You have to, like, pointedly avoid ever fighting near uh, those pits in the ground. Because when you kill dudes, 
the ammo and money they drop will fall into the pits and you will lose it. And given that ammo, keys, health, and whatnot are in relatively short supply, you can't afford to be losing it into pits like that. What's worse, considerably worse, is that... Uh, there we go. What's even worse is you'll see this black area also appears around the, uh, the buildings, uh, like outside the wall of the buildings you're in. And if you kill a guy who's standing right next to a wall or destroy an item that has... Uh, like money or whatever in it right next to a wall, there's like a 50% chance the bonus will spawn outside the wall and will just fall away into nothingness. So, it's pretty frustrating is my point. Also, the game is way too stingy with keys. <laughs> oh my god, is it way too stingy with keys. Like, it, it's crazy. So any given house you go into, I would say 80, 90% of them you need a key to get into the house. But then a chest appears when you kill the dudes inside, and you also need a key for that chest inside. And since there's no guarantee that you're going to find any significant amount of um, cash... There we go. Or keys or ammo inside a house, unless you've got two keys before you go into a house, there's never a reason to go into a house. Again, it's just weird. And yes, I know what you're saying. If you have enough cash, you can always buy keys at the store for 400 apiece. I'm like, yes, I know that. But maybe just have a few more keys spawn organically during the game? Alright, here we go. I wonder if there's always a store. So it's like, I guess the only way I could, could see ever getting that trophy for completing a whole level, sorry, um, for killing 50 guys without, uh, there we go, uh, without we're always using the last bullet of my gun would be to, like, only do it with rocket launchers and, like, waste a bunch of rocket launcher shells, then use a rocket launcher on the last guy, and then just... Find one more group of three rocket launcher shells, fire off two of them, kill one, blah, 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 blah. And Hans, I don't know why you had so much trouble googling the Suko. I, I said cocaine... I typed in uh, cocaine refining, and then as close as I could come to spelling the Suko, and it was like the first response. I had spelled, my guess is how it was spelled was completely wrong, but it, it did come up right away on Google, so I don't know what happened with you. Yeah, okay, another issue. So, see the, uh, I think those are supposed to be onions or blueberries or something, and they carry a rifle, right? Now watch this. You'll notice, I hope, that they are almost exactly the same color as the sidewalk and street. I walked into a pile of lemon juice. Killed me. Basuko. B-A... I think it's B-A-S-U-C-C-O. Although I could be wrong about that. I don't remember how I spelled it, well, how it was spelled when I finally did Google it and found out that it was a thing. It means garbage. It means, uh, like, cocaine plant garbage. This, this came up in a, this came up in a stream recently, I was making a reference, and I asked what it's a reference to, and it was a reference to the Punisher. And it's an impossible to Google reference, partially because no one knew how to spell Basuka. Ah, uh, okay, so I guess that's the onion, and the little guys are blueberries with rifles? Hey, the crying onion is pretty cute. I'm a big fan of that guy. Thank you. 
Hey, it's the shop. I don't have enough money to buy anything. Hey, the bonus area. There are bonus areas. It's a, a challenging battle, but you it's the best way, the fastest way, if not necessarily the best way to earn uh, gems that you use to unlock new weapons. The problem is, if you get there with only a pistol, uh, you're kind of screwed, as you can see. Are you saying Sad Onion is a reference to something? Or are you asking me if I was referencing something? Because if it's a reference to something, I, I don't know what it is. Other than the fact that stereotypically cutting onions makes people cry, but that's kind of obvious, so... Oh, so you're saying it's a reference to something I don't know. Nice! 710,000 silver coins? That's crazy. Hey, buddy. Another issue with the game, and this isn't a big issue, but it is an issue. Enemies just appear on screen, and if they were just appearing off screen, that would be fine. Like, if you want to do a shortcut and say, enemies can just teleport in with no animation and no warning, but it happens off screen, so you're not seeing it happen, so who cares? I'd be like, you know what? That's not great, but who cares? I'm not seeing it, it doesn't matter. But enemies can just jump in. With no warning of any kind, like, next to you. And that, that gets into the territory of the unfair. Oh, right. Tears up, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm embarrassed that I didn't get that one. Especially since we were just talking about Isaac. Uh, sometimes when you beat one of these houses, you will get the Ghost of Runs Past to show up, and he will give you one of the items from your previous run. I don't know if you have to have, like, had a bunch of items in that previous run for him to show up. Uh, the time he had since I loaded this, uh, since I first loaded this PS4 version game, I happened to the previous run have had, like, six guns. I don't know, literally, he's right there right now. Okay. That was... So maybe he'll give me the sledgehammer since I had literally nothing else last time. No, it wasn't. It was a terrible run. Oh, it counts everything that appeared not and everything you picked up, not just... Stuff you were carrying when you died. Come on, sledgehammer, come on, sledgehammer, come on, sledgehammer. Stop, 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 stop. God damn it. The sh <laughs> The shiv? Oh, what the hell, I'll use the shit for once. Hmm. So let's try out this kill guys with your last shot theory I had. Step one. Stop picking up more... Ugh! Although I did need that key. Uh, next, guys. Right over there. Okay, so instead of there being a gate on a specific part of the map and you have to kill the alien to get the key to open the gate, now, uh, just after you've cleared out all the rooms, an alien shows up and you kill him and the bad guy just appears. It's kind of neat. Alright, so... Here we go. Let's try and s kite some guys together so I can score real big on this. Now let's go get one shot. Do it again. Get one shot. Move 
Some such erratic patterns in this game. And I think we may finally be out of uh, extra bazooka. Oh no, I was wrong. So I was completely backwards. This could be one of the easiest uh, trophies to get. I just, I don't understand who thought the shiv was a good idea. It's like the bat, but it moves slowly and doesn't knock back enemy projectiles that I've seen. Why would I want that? Masochism. It does less damage than your basic gun's bullets. Again, why would I want this? My basic gun already has infinite ammo. Ah, here's the alien. Apparently you don't have to clear every room before the alien shows up. He just shows up in a specific room. Ah. The alien, as you'll see... Oh, no, I was wrong. It can deflect bullets. There you go. I understand the value of it. Way to go, game. No one in this game can shoot through chain link fences, but physical items work through chain link fences, so if you can lock a guy behind a chain link fence, you can just spam bullets at him until he dies. It's incredibly cheap, but it does work. As you can see, the alien has way too much health. But that's true of every boss and boss adjacent character in this game. They're asking me to go and fight a boss right now with my starting gun and a bazooka with one shell. And if you haven't seen me play this game before, you might say, isn't that doable? No. No, the bosses all have so much health it doesn't even make sense. Alright, so. Careful. Careful. Oh, this is happening. I'd better be getting credits for this nonsense. Oh, you don't take damage from blowing up the environment, in case you're wondering. So you don't have to be careful about blowing up gas tanks. Was that... I'm very confused. Was that, uh... Was that pumpkin briefly invisible? Whatever happened, it was weird. Hmm. And the map also tells you where bonus items spawned in, so that's good. Alien rifle. Now that's my, my speed. Really? That's weird. So there's no crossplay in War Thunder, huh? Hmm. I wonder if I lure guys into that fire, if they'll give me the, uh... Hey, extra health. Nice. They'll give me the uh, kill dudes with fire bonus, or if it only counts if I, like, shot at dudes with a fire weapon and used a Molotov cocktail on them. Hopefully that ammo stays there. It might not, though. Oh, well, we're going to find out. Yep, you can let them all spawn instantaneously. Which they do. Oh my god, they make such cute sounds. Bunch of extra health. There's more health than I normally see in an entire run I've seen in this first level. Which is great, although less great because I haven't actually gotten hit much this time. Yay, ammo for the thing I didn't need much ammo for. I don't want to sound like I'm uh, being ungrateful, though. I do appreciate the ammo. Oh, weird. So, an Xbox player can play with a PC player. And the same for PS4, but not vice versa. But they can't play with each other. That's that's screwed up. It's political correctness gone mad, is what that is. I'm lying, of course. That has nothing to do with political correctness. So let's we're gonna find out if that I got credit for those as fire kills. Oh wait, that was my last shot. Damn it! Get more attention, Hogaru. Yeah, their habit of just wandering off in weird directions makes it hard to plan things. Oh, in a nice touch, generally, the game will not give you uh, ammo for weapons you don't have. Huge explosions on those things. Uh, so, 
Like, if you just have a rocket launcher, pretty much you'll just pick up rocket launcher ammo, not like a bunch of pistol ammo. Yeah, Sony really seems to hate crossplay. I've heard about that. Like, I feel like you guys are uh, spending too much time dunking on uh, Microsoft. Like, we know you won the generation. Let them have something, guys. And Microsoft have to say, well, you can play PUBG on our system, and that's their big exclusive. I'm like, come on, guys. You're making me sad. So Judgment might not be coming out in uh, North America. Which is kind of shatteringly awful news. At the very least, it might be delayed a while, but it might not come out at all. And I'm like, that's the game I was most excited about this year. Also, the new Yakuza game. Oh, but I thought the Yakuza rolls in North America. Were no, it's well. also been pulled from sale in Japan. Oh. Yeah. For what? The guy who plays one of the villains in the game was arrested for using cocaine. Hey. And that's it. That's the whole story. Is it well, I mean, they've got it. The problem is, it's his likeness in the game. So they would have to put in an entirely new player model and record a new voice. Which is what they did for Yakuza 4. The guy who played the young cop in Yakuza 4 uh, retired from uh, acting in 2016 because somebody accused him of using cocaine. A uh, drug test proved he didn't. But he was so shamed by the accusation of having used cocaine that he quit acting, and he's now been cut out of Yakuza 4. They don't have to, Maddie. It's not a legal thing. They're just like, in Japan, it's a using drugs is a pretty serious thing. And they do not want to risk uh, pissing off anybody. All right, let's, so we, uh, let's go and see what we can buy with all of this money! I'm really worried about it, because I just saw some more footage of it, and oh my god, that game looks gorgeous. And it's like, I love that it's just set in the world of Yakuza. It's just a new story set in that world, using those locations. Maybe we'll see some character crossover. Who can say? Will Daigo Dojima show up? One can only hope. I, I have not looked into it. But I hope Daigo Dojima shows up. Because he's the best. Okay, so. If you've got five crystals, you can buy a new weapon. I don't have five crystals. If you have 15, you can do fast travel with this guy. Uh, here you can check out your various... Oh, hey, let's check. 20 health boxes, full health. Die 10 times. Ouch. Survive for 20 waves in the bonus dimension. <laughs> okay. Reincarnate in the bonus dimension on death. Okay, I've worn silver soon. Okay, start on any level without picking up any guns, melee weapons, or items. Yeah, so you're gonna have to do, like, a... Get a do a perk run that gets you, like, a better starting gun if you uh, want any chance of that. No, Maddie, because no one would believe you. Go through one campaign without using your weapon wheel. That sounds like you mean play the entire game without using your weapon wheel. Or it's possible they mean two levels are called a campaign, because every two levels they change the biome. So there you go. Push over the edge. Oh, that's to, that's your prize for knocking enemies off of cliffs with um, melee attacks. Unlock five weapons, and me enter the boss area with one health and slay the beast. Damn, though! And it, the bonus is all enemies lose a quarter of health. Nice. Uh, fire. Nope! Doesn't count! Look! Defeat 30 enemies in total with the last bullet in your gun. It doesn't count rocket launchers. So I gotta get, like, a rifle or a shotgun, which... Those can reliably kill dudes without with the last hit. Is it stupid to buy this? Yes. 
Uh, it depends, and that in that case, Maddie, it depends how sensitive the company is. Uh, MP40. Sega is very sensitive, but I don't imagine that every single Japanese corporation would be that sensitive. Uh, but you know, only one way to find out, and that's to start. Uh, hmm. Accusing people of using cocaine who work in the Japanese video game industry. For the record, I'm encouraging you to not do that. This is an awesome sword. God damn it! Wow, I just started taking... I got so psyched about using this new sword, I got hit 15 times. Now that's the kind of knockback I was hoping to see from uh, melee weapons in this game. Yeah, we figured that's what you meant, Maddie. There was no confusion. If you have full hit points when you got a health box, you just get cash for it. It's very handy. Alright. Is there a no pit in this level? I wanted to see if I could get that uh, trophy for hitting, what was it, 20 guys, 50 guys into the pit? How many was it? It was a lot, I bet. So now that I've bought this weapon once, it should start randomly spawning. Uh, although I don't, I, I think it still might not have like a high spawn rate. Well, it's not Sega. I mean, Sega is just reacting to uh, social mores in Japan. And you might be asking me, what do um, what does Sega care about Japanese eels? And I would respond, that's very funny, but I'm talking about actual things that affect people's lives, and I don't need those kind of ridiculous jokes right now. My god, I love rifles in this game. problem is, this rifle is so powerful, how am I ever going to get down to... In order to use it for the last bullet thing, which is what it would be great for, you'd have to, like, purposefully miss 30 times. I'm going to assume you meant Sony there. So what you're saying is... Hmm... accuse Sony executives of using cocaine and threaten to derail their careers if they don't enable cross-play in their games. Once again, I'm going to have to veto that action as an official move of the Hidden Object Guru fandom. Please don't do that. Yes, you need me to update my Microsoft account. Consider I've never logged into a Microsoft service. I don't know how there could be something wrong with my password. But I will do that. If only so you'll stop telling me to. Blunderbuss! Now this is actually the perfect weapon to do this with. Because as you can see, it's brutally powerful. It's a reference to it a fake way that Scottish people don't actually sound. Brutal. And I can turn why do I think um, saying brutal in a Scottish accent is uh, inherently funny. Like, what is that a reference to? But it's so obscure that I don't think anyone would get it, so I don't think it's a fair quiz. Like, so I'm just not going to make that a quiz. Oh, good! Are you ready to watch a historically, unbelievably unfair boss fight? I hope you enjoy me getting mad at video games. 
Because this boss fight is the worst. So, he starts vomiting, and then he drops. And then he takes damage, but you're surra immediately surrounded by dudes. Ooh, and by the way, you're not allowed to... Ah, and he can just start vomiting right on top of you right there. Giving you almost no chance to attack him. And his vomit trail stays. So you can't, like, get close. And as you can see, he also has way too much health. See? He does the vomit trail, but he also moves much faster than you do. Are you kidding me? Okay, we all saw... I, I'd like to... Let's all just pretend that frame rate issue is definitely because I'm watching uh, this on my capture card and nothing to do with the actual game. It's me being charitable. I don't know if that's true. God damn it, game. So hopefully you can see the degree to which that's the most unfair boss in the world, right? Is that clear that that guy's the most unfair boss in the world? Like, I don't really see what I could have done there. <laughs> he can outrun you, and you can't even, like, turn to get away from him because his vomit trail is so huge. He, uh... Oh, 200 guys. Wow. I didn't think so, Maddie. Um, so... Let's move on to Blood Waves. Do all y'all remember Blood Waves? No. Well, it's uh, it's out on PS4 now. Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Blood Waves. We played an early access version of this on PC last year, uh, but it is now arrive. It has now arrived on PS4. Is it fixed now? Have they added in a meta, a more like comprehensive metagame around the shooting waves of zombies? Or is it still kind of on the thin side? I guess we're going to find out. Seriously, that Coco and Loco boss is... The only way you can defeat him is to be running away in a straight line. And then, just the moment before he starts vomiting, double back and go the other way. Because the, the alien can't actually turn around that fast. Short training to help you navigate the games. Now, this is a video about blood waves, though, so I'm going to stop talking about the walking vegetables, which we just played previously. And if the heroine stop the melee attack, then you need to restore stamina. Gotcha. I see. Survival points award for all actions of the game. Also, you can see the number of current wave. Remaining enemies. Cash you learn by killing zombies and collecting drop items. In addition, lower block. Stock of ammo. Dodge the enemies who use roll. Speed up the run. Sprint. Ugh. High inventory to quick weapon change. Aiming and attack. Hint of control will appear at the beginning of each game. Good to know. Auto save works until the character is dead? What? Oh, I see. Okay. Dear developer, um, your English is not easily readable by an English native because it seems to have been translated poorly. If you'd like someone to colloquialize your... Uh, text and make it more easily readable, I would be happy to do that for you, all for the low, low price of uh, $1 per full page of text. So just send that over to me, and uh, I will be happy to do that for you. And oh my god, her, her limp-wristed running is still just as hilarious as it ever was. Okay, now let's reload. How do I reload? Right one, gotcha. God, I love their frantic run. 
I'm a little disappointed that your heads aren't flying off when I shoot you in the head, zombie. No judgment, but this seems to be the exact same game we played uh, on PC or last year. So yeah, this this is a these are frame rate issues, right? I'm not going crazy. God damn it! So where's my stamina bar? Oh, there it is. What do you mean? Her head's too small? Yeah. Yeah, we noticed that last time too. And her arms are too small. Yeah, it's very weird. She's got weird T-Rex arms. Also, she has the single most awkward dive roll animation I've ever seen. Ready for this? It's like she stops and kind of hovers and falls and rolls. Like, no, that's not how that should look. I'm guessing the game still only has the one map. Yeah, T-Rex arms. Her little T Rex arm run. Yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? Your arms, your arm span when you hold the knife should be the length of your height. Yeah. Look at how long her arms are. I know. If she put her arms down, they would pass, like, go well past her. It does seem that way. No! I got hit! Oh, blood waves. So now that the wave is over, we get to go do some shopping at the, behind the statue of the Virgin Mary. So let's spend our upgrade points, which I definitely don't know how to do. Um, okay. I wanted to see if pressing the touchpad was a, um, uh, was a good way to, uh, well, thank you. Uh, okay. I see. Anyway, uh, it was a good way to open the, like, an upgrade menu or something, but now obviously you don't. But here's the thing. If you touch the pad, you can aim by using the thumb pad to do fine aiming. So that's weird. And then you tap it to shoot. That's something I haven't seen before. Uh, so you'll notice. I had 100 bullets when I started the level. Okay. And it took me 60 bullets to kill as many zombies in that level. And for that I got 1,500. To buy 60 more bullets would cost me, and this is not a lie, $900. Meaning, I only turned a profit of 600 bullets on that first level. Because the enemies do not drop ammo, and there's no other way to buy get ammo but to buy it here. I kind of look like the look of the, uh, the tattoo. Okay. Wait, are you saying I could heal health, spend money to heal health points as it's a level? 2% health regeneration per second, that sounds pretty good. 50% less damage from acid zombies, less loss of stamina from melee attacks. Alright, that went great. And what is the name of that World of Tanks clone? I don't want to be too much of a jerk here, but it really does seem like they haven't made any improvements in the game. 15,000! 25,000? 20,000, okay. They haven't read any noticeable improvements since the uh, last game. Okay, so I can upgrade my pistol to do 15% more damage. So 15 points more damage. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I can have more bullets, too. Nice. So let's reload. 
And let's try out this, uh... Yeah, I would love to build some stuff, but I don't think I have anything to build. Because I didn't buy anything to build, so... Let's see if I can do that. Can I... Uh, I got 800 left. Can I afford... That's something I can't afford. Turrets? Nope. There we go. And it's not like a model. You have to buy them individually, right? Zombie grinder looks pretty badass. Mounted chainsaws. Yeah, that's a pretty terrible name. Matty. Start. Alright, let's build this thing. Alright. Perfect. Start that new wave, everybody. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that the game has not changed at all since we uh, played it last year. Which is a disappointment because it was in a very early state then and I'd hoped that they would completely rebalance the, uh, the economy of the game to make it more rewarding to play. So how do I do melee? No, that's not right. Let's see controls. Melee, melee. Um. Uh, is there no button there for melee? I feel like I'm going crazy. Attack, reload, aim, inventory. Movement, sprint, jump. Why would you jump? Why is there ever a need to jump in this game? There's one map and there's nothing to jump over. You know what? It doesn't even tell you that you can use the touchpad to fine-tune aiming. Which honestly doesn't work that bad, Lee. Like, I thought the touchpad was going to be way more awkward than this, but... Okay, it stopped working there. Which is bad. Okay, yeah, the touchpad stopped working. <laughs> like, right away. Yeah, I can't go down. Oh, hey, I should try to run dudes into this thing and see if it hurts them. Or if it's just, like, a barrier to stand behind. Hey, guys. No, they just attack it. I swear to God, there was a tip that told me I could do a melee attack. They're like, use this upgrade to make melee attacks take less stamina. Oh, wait, no, I must have a sword. It's a, it's a different weapon. Okay. Right, and it leaves gross slashes on them. I remember this. Okay, I, I remember what's happening. Seriously, though, we're gonna we're gonna stop now because we already played this game last year and it was in a pretty rough state and the developers have had a year and it's now out on the PS4 and it's still in basically the exact same rough state it was then. Also, I feel like, and I mean, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not crazy. Doesn't it seem like getting back two health per second is almost like too much for a level one perk? Because it kind of feels like I could just run away from guys and be fully healed in a few, in like 20 seconds. Then I can just go right back to slashing them. Like, as I'm sitting here slashing them, I'm getting healed. That's weird. Oh, they dropped cash! And health! Nice. So let's just let my stamina build back up, then let's slash guys some more. Yeah, so it turns out guns, not the best strategy for this. I guess later when you fight like acid and electricity zombies, you want to lean on guns pretty hard, but at this point, I mean, it honestly seems like just stick to slashing dudes if you've already paid for the, uh, Regeneration perk. Huh. I am I am genuinely surprised that the game 
has this kind of an oversight. Although, I mean, this is... I don't want this to sound too negative, so please... I don't want you to read this as an awful judgment, but... I kind of get the sense this was not extensively playtested. You know? Like, not massively looked into. I feel like a team of people didn't pour over this thing, making sure every little bit of it was tuned to completion. I mean, it's a zombie battle arena game that has only one zombie battle arena in it. Also, it has weird frame rate issues on the PS4, which it's way much more powerful than. So, uh, Okay, so health points, resistance to damage from zombies. Nice. Discount for repairs. Less of a loss for meat. Yeah! Obviously. Alright, now let's see if I can improve my, uh, knife. Uh, I can! To do a bunch more damage. Alright, now let's, uh, buy a submachine. Ooh, shotgun or submachine gun? SMG. Oh, can I not afford? I can't afford the shotgun. And question answered for me. Alright, let's, uh, let's do one last wave, then we will, uh, stop the game. And if you'd like to see more of zombie waves, well, again, I've already played it. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Hey, a piece of a zombie finally fell off! Yay! We're living in a beautiful dream world, everybody. 650. So when I kill them, I get how much? 150? 150 every time I kill a zombie. But it costs me 200 to get a full clip of ammunition. So if I can kill three zombies with a full clip of ammunition, two zombies with a full clip of ammunition, that's only about a hundred dollar profit from killing two zombies. The math's just not working for me, Jerry. I can't. I can't make it work. I've run the numbers six ways from Sunday. I'm just not going to turn a profit killing these zombies. We, we got to find some other way. We need more revenue streams for this zombie killing, see? Can we, can we sponsor a zombie killing somehow? Get the corporations on board? You got you to gotta give me a lifeline here, pal. And then he immediately went back to slashing zombies. Because, again, I heal almost instantaneously. So apparently I can quit this game, and it'll save where I was, and I will come back later and continue this. Which seems kind of ridiculous on its face. Alright, so. Let's uh, shoot a couple more zombies, because... Mix things up a little until I'm healed. What's that? I'm healed? Alright, back to slashing. <laughs> no! Zombies! Who could have seen that coming? Alright, well now I'm just being sarcastic for the sake of being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm sure later there will be tougher zombies that, you know, provide more of a problem, but for right now... We're just kind of skating through these dudes, aren't we? Okay. You didn't really have to be that good a shot. Although I will say this about the game. Uh, it has better aiming acceleration, so it's much easier to slash and hit, uh, aim and hit dudes with your pistol, uh, than it was in, uh, only five grand for all of that. Is there some way to get more money? Is there, like, a perk for that, or, or what? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I've been the Hidden Object Guru. I'd like to thank you for coming along on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that. Is this not a thing? This isn't a thing. Questions, suggestions... Oh, it costs two next time. Damn it. Uh, questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to see more 
And I need two for that one as well. Ugh. No! Uh, if you'd like to see more, I would suggest you check out uh, the next item on the playlist, because i got to send someone to be playing some more of this truly questionable action... Uh, truly questionable action game. Uh, so I'll see you back here for that, but until then, au revoir. Uh, hey, Maddie, which games were those? Uh, I feel like I checked something. Was it a horror thing on Discord? So supposedly it's going to let me continue. I like the assault rifle there, lady. Not the zombie grinder traps. Whatever what shall we do if our precious zombie grinder traps are destroyed? Now, again, sarcasm for sarcasm's sake. It helps nobody. All right, so, uh, is it level? Yeah, no, cleared wave three. There you go. It does auto save at the end of every wave as promised. All right, next up, back to what we're all really here for, more Infernium. <sighs> right. Yeah, no, Left 4 Dead was definitely a better experience. Way to go, Carlos Coronado. So check this out. I could load up a mod, but game, right? Where is it? Where's accessibility? Okay, that's great. There's a photo mode? Well, of course there's a photo mode. It's the most beautiful game that I've ever, that I've ever played. But anyway. Check this out. Accessibility. You can put on more tutorials to tell you how to play the game. You can turn on more enemies, you can turn on slower foes, and you can turn on no permadeath. Like, the guy wants you to enjoy his game. He's like, this game is a sadistic, brutal game that you're going to hate. But if you just want to beat the game, that's fine. Here's stuff to let you do that. And I'm like, why is he the only developer on Earth who cares about that kind of thing? When you die, you will find a door. Nothing good awaits inside. Oh my god! Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Infernium for the first time in a year. I just bought the game on PC. As you'll remember, I got sent a review copy on PS4. You might not remember that. There's every reason to believe you don't. But anyway, I got sent a review copy on PS4. And um, it had a glitch where every time you stopped playing the game, it would delete your save. And that was understandably frustrating, I think. And as a consequence, um, I never did finish uh, the game, because I could only ever get an hour into it, because I'm not going to sit down and play this game for 12 hours straight. I don't hate myself. Much. But anyway, uh, waka waka. Ow. Um... Right? So you, uh... So there was an issue. So it was on sale for five... I was obsessed with the game. It has a beautiful aesthetic. Wonderfully creepy. Great world design. Like, great world building. Great maps. Such a clever game. So I saw it was on sale for five bucks on Steam. As it is until this the end of this week. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna buy this thing. And actually try to beat it. Could I have reached out to the developer and asked for a copy? Yeah, I should have done that a year ago when it first came to PC. But it never occurred to me to do it, so he got five bucks from me. Congratulations, Carlos Coronado. All of this is my incredibly long-winded way of saying this is exactly where I was when I stopped playing the game last time. I had just gotten up to the uh, rainy bridge area. So now we're going to have a look around 
at the Rainy Bridge. Uh, yes, Maddie, on the stream, I did play this yesterday in an attempt to get back to where I was, which I succeeded in doing, which is why we're here now. I know, it's so unlike me to ever pay for a video game. I was putting together the uh, the Patreon message for my uh, my upcoming Patreon for the Totally Objective Gamer, uh, the Totally Objective Game Review channel, and it was like, and in the uh, the section on ethics, I'm like, uh, I will accept any free video game or gift because. Uh, the nature of totally objective game reviews as a project means my opinions about a game cannot influence the review because it is, an, it is a truly objective review. Meaning, I can like the developer as much as I want and hate the or hate the developer as much as I want and by definition it cannot affect the score because it's an objective review. So, send me, send me games, send me swag, send me cash, it's not going to help you get a better review. Call me names, insult me on Twitter like that one drunk developer did, it's also not going to affect your review score because it's an objective review. In many ways, it's the most noble <laughs> thing I've ever done. <laughs> I couldn't finish that sentence without laughing. Uh, but no, it is the most noble thing I've ever done. Uh, yes. Hey, ghosty ghost. They're so stressful. I love them so much. They're all invisible, but some of them wear bed sheets, but most of them don't. Well, no, most of them do. Just some of them don't. Do 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 do. I already got this is a puzzle area where you have to like flip switches while being chased by two ghosts simultaneously. It sucks so hard you would not believe it, but I've already gotten through it, so I can just do this. Uh, do this. Thank you. Alright, now that I've got the triangle on my hand, which was very scary to accomplish, by the way, I can open up this shortcut so I never have to go that, through that room again. Kapow! Shortcut, open up, open five. Dude should be right here waiting for me. Oh. He didn't follow me. It's a little weird. Oh, well, whatever. When I tried doing screen recording of this game, the game recorded uh, fine. I was getting some footage for my totally objective review of the game yesterday. But when I tried to take screenshots while doing screen recording, it bugged out and only took screenshots of the very first image when I started recording the game. I don't know why. It's the kind of uh, break I've never seen before. I think I just grabbed a... Okay. Mm. Uh, I think I just grabbed a energy sphere for no reason. I believe I thought I had to grab an energy sphere because it cost me an energy sphere to open the shortcut. But I don't think it did. Ah, there he is! You don't see how this game is hard? Well, I haven't been... I've been skipping past the hard areas because I remember the game pretty well. It's very complicated. Okay. Alright. Boop. Yeah, and since all of these messages are just like... And as you can see, the way it slightly floats offset from the background... They're just ping, uh, hovering pings floating in front of the walls. They could just He can just have pings from all the different languages floating in front of the walls without any trouble. And that way there has to be a ping file somewhere with the messages from the, um, from the banners on them. So maybe I should check the game's file to see if they're just visible pings. They're probably archived somewhere so I can't just look at them, but it might be worth checking out. Uh, we got that one, we got that one. Yeah, we're good to go. I want to find out the full story of their spelunking trip. 
that made them find out about monstrous uh, mushrooms and witches and drove people insane and they discovered that hell's a real place. I think. Okay. Alright, save. Oh, this is when he ran off to do the thing himself, and that's why she slaps him later. Okay. Yeah, you know, psychedelic mushrooms that make you have visions of hell. Not like... Not like, you know... Uh... Toad. Who is, in his own way, a, mon mus uh, a monster mushroom. When you go through those gates, it resets the position of all the ghosts. See, so yeah, once you've got the triangle hand, you can unlock these without spending um, spike points on them, so that's good. Uh, I told you, Maddie, I'd get to, uh, to it after I'm done the script I'm on. But I will. This I guarantee you. I will check it out once I'm done the script I'm currently writing. I don't. I can't have anything distract me from that from a creative standpoint. Damn it! Two spikes, and there's so much money inside. That's what I call those. I call those money. Damn, that one's really hard to read. Thought maybe there was a chance I could make some light appear, but there's not. I'm really gonna have to play with the uh, gamma on this one to make it readable later. Okay. So, plenty of cash inside those. I just need the two spikes. So this room is guarded by a ton of blue dudes. If you can sneak past them, you can get the triangle, which is how I got the triangle. Blue dudes, I think, are faster than red dudes, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's a red dude over there, guarding that thing. I, I, there's got to be a way to kill these guys, and I know they said that in a tip, but I've seen no sign of it. Because... Like, there's no way to get any of that stuff in there without waking up the red guy, and it's not like you can run past him. I could set this as a save point, but I don't know if I want to. Oh, Christ, I forgot there was a blue guy back there. What I think I would rather do is go back to the beginning of the game and seeing where the secret passage you open by using the triangle key at the beginning of the game gets you. So that's what we're going to do now. I will pause the recording until we get back to the beginning of the game. Yay! I'm pretending that's an accomplishment. I am going to open all the doors first, and I will show you the rainy bridge. This is the rainy bridge area. Like, that's just what it's called. Uh, it's one of those one-way doors, I think. Yeah. Yeah you got to make a real commitment. And then, of course, you can come back and open up the shortcut later. And that is where the invisible guys live. We got this one, right? 23? I'm just going to do that to be safe. Why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt me anything. I took one uh, screenshot. Right, so let's zip down to the bottom of the tower, shall we? That was not the way. Gosh, I do in fact love this video game. Mm. Now I can open up this shortcut. Of course, as shortcuts go, it's not actually the best because it means the ghost can chase you through to the other door, so... Although theoretically I should never encounter it again, so... 3.14159 and I'm done. 152? Ah, yeah. 1415 is all I got for pie. I'm not good at remembering pie. Unless, of course, it's a cherry pie. What's that? You hate cherry pie? I do. I was really more referencing a song than a food. It 
It was 1592. Nice. I'm weirdly proud of myself that I got, uh, that I knew there was a 141519 and then 2. I just thought it might have been 29. Did not trust myself at all. You fools. You thought you could trap me here in your castle of Villainy. You had no idea what you were up against. I might get killed right now after gloating, so... Jesus Christ, I forgot I opened that door. Mm. Everything about this game is so stressful. Also, there's no sprint button, so... Fun fact about the uh, ghosts, they're not great at turning corners. See, there's actually a bunch of meshes. This is a dead end. There's no way to open this door. Are you kidding me? Um... Was that a joke? So they said there's nothing good behind that door. So I guess after all of the lights go out, that door will be open. And it's game over. But like in the worst possible way. Five, three, five. Nice. All right. So, I just had a realization. And it really is a question about how sadistic this game is. Because I neglected to let that ghost out earlier. Did I just end up in a situation where I can't get back to the bottom of this place? Like, that can't be right, can it? Oh, wait. That's probably the main doors, isn't it? Alright, I'm a dum-dum. Alright. I just got killed because I didn't look around for a door opening and I thought I had to do something stupid. That's what this game does to me. Anyway, let's go get all of those plot fragments and then we'll head downstairs. And I know you're like, but if you try to get the plot fragments, won't you be chased by a murderous ghost? And I'm like, yeah, but now I'll open the shortcut. Uh, I think I've got this. Hey, buddy. We're cool, right? You're just gonna let me take this? Not gonna be a thing? We cool. I kinda like you now. <sighs> okay, here we go. Alright. I think I can get this one without waking him up, but I'm going to have to wake him up for that last one. By the way, cave diving always seems like a bad idea. That's readable, right? I don't have to... I can't believe I can get this close to him. I legitimately believe that that guy's taking a nap. Uh, sure, Edith Finch, Maddie. What remains of Edith Finch? That's a very good walking simulator full of creepy stories. 
And let's all go to the Rapture is pretty good, too. Whew. You know what the frustrating part is? I'm going to get back to the beginning of the game and go down to that tunnel, and it's going to turn out that I actually did go there before, and I've just forgotten. It's going to be pretty embarrassing. That is good to hear, Maddie. It's high quality. Oh, right. You can use A to get around. Yeah, it's a gorgeous game. I wonder if... Does Rap... Let's... I know that, um... Vanishing of Ethan Carter has a VR version. I wonder if Let's All Go to the Rapture has a VR version. Because I think that would be very good for it. And obviously for people like me who enjoy playing it. Alright, so, uh, here's the place to go down to the hell dimension. But now, how do I get back upstairs? I know there's a way. Oh, right, we cross over here. It's incredibly dangerous and full of monsters. And there's not a save point before doing it. So I'm gonna have to go through, if I screw up, I'll have to go through all of this again. Well, that's weird. Whoa, okay. And we're back. I'm out of the castle. I'm trying to sneak back down to the uh, beginning of the area so that I can uh, get back to the start of the map and see what's behind that triangle door. So what do you want to bet there's just nothing but monsters down there? Nothing but a hundred thousand monsters. But isn't that true of whichever direction I try to go in? Ah, screw it. Let's just take a look. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I got the title wrong. Sorry, Maddie. Wait, there was nothing in here but fuel? I'm so baffled. Huh. That has more than one full bar in it, so you should save it until you have more than one finger's worth of energy to fill up. Okay, I got it. Or else you're just wasting energy. Alright, I could be about to be chased by a monster. Okay. Anything out here? Any place I can teleport to? We're good? Alright. Alright, so this is a turning circle, which you can use to sneak past monsters. They start chasing you. Ah! Oh, and there's one right there. There's a guy right there. Yep. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I knew I had gotten that title wrong. We good? I feel like there might be a guy right down this tunnel. No, just another super deal. This game is too tense. There's not going to be a guy out here, right? Like, that would be crazy. No, we're fine. And there's another easel. Nice. In case you're wondering, we are now back at the start of the game. Whew! Don't know if you recognize this area, but it was a, a key thing right at the start of the game. And now I remember where the bad guy was, so I can avoid him in the future. Because they're made by people with... Uh, generally they're made by people who are focused first on their artistic ambitions, Maddie. Is why walking sims tend to be so beautiful. Like, because for the people who make walking sims, they're like, art and narrative are, uh, like, um, the visual experience and the narrative are intertwined, and I want to make sure people get the mood that I want to express from the visuals and the experience of running around this world, rather than uh, more simple gameplay elements or just the flavor text. They want to express things through the setting, and that just 
creates a situation where you have to make it beautiful because that's how you get people on board. Whew. I can't pick that up. All right, well, if you walk any closer, you're falling to your death. Oh, Grusik, don't. That was baffling, though. Whew. There's the bridge with the dude on it. My god, we're almost back to the start, everybody. I'm so excited to find out what's over there. I do like all of the... It's weird, because I like that all of the shortcuts stay open, but I hate that the, all of the elevators stay where you left them. So it's like you'll get in a situation where... You have to call an elevator while you're being chased by ghosts, which is never fun. Oh my god, start of the game. We did it, everybody. We made it back to the start of the game. Let's save our progress. Which one is that, Maddie? An underwater base? Oh my god, this game is so gorgeous. All right. What do you have for me now, Mr. Triangle? What secrets shall you uncover? Have you any tips about what I might find below? No, that's literally just the room I was just in? Yeah, I figured. Soma is the one you're talking about. I just forgot the title. Thank you, Maddie. How would you ever get those glow, that glow nonsense? Anyway, let's go do this. <sighs> oh no, it's a drop. Oh, I don't feel confident about this at all. Oh, is there any text on the wall up there? I'll find out later. I feel like this isn't the last time I'm going to be here. Are you talking about this voice, Matty? This strange voice? The one that's only slightly removed from my 30s newsreader voice? So this place is entirely bit for it, built bit. Built for if you already have double hand spikes. Okay. Apparently I wasn't supposed to come back, back here yet. What the hell is going on? Yes, yes. This character is always up to something. God, Jesus! Um, he can't cross the red lines. He killed me. He can't cross the red sand on the ground. Did you see that? Uh, only a few, Maddie. Um... Dragon, hmm. uh, Monster Boy, the Dragon's Curse, you could switch. Like, with the press of a button, you could switch between new and old graphics. Halo 2 Remastered, which is the mass, Master effect, uh, effect Collection. You can just tap a button and switch between the new and old graphics in, almost instantaneously. It's actually a really neat effect. Uh, but very few remastered games let you do that. So was there... Yeah, there was something written on the wall. I should have known. Wow, this is really hard to read. Oh, fog. Apparently, Denny dies. That's Roof. Not hugely surprising. It's a story about a scary diving expedition. Those often turn out to be fatal. Hmm? No. Huh. Strangely, that's what this is about. Well, there it was always going to be if you're watching Stargate Atlantis. I mean, like they're underwater, right? I oh, know. I guess they're not because the city can go up to the surface. 
It's just, Atlantis is just a name, really. All right. Let's get, first, let's get my energy back. I swear I didn't see that blue coat, blue cloaked jerk. Uh, that's when Atari went out of business and everyone... Oh, there he is. How did I miss him? I love that he can't cross the red sand. So here's how you get past this guy. No. No. That was amazing. And there were eight more guys coming. I had, what, one second to feel proud of myself before I immediately got chased down by two of his buddies? Oh, no, one of his buddies. The other one's him. Hey, guys. Late. You're not going to jump off a cliff to follow me, are you? No? Okay. What never was? Is that a game, Maddie? Some more red lines, more places to trap these guys. So I'm guessing the blue guys... Can't cross the red lines, but it probably doesn't bother the red guys. Wonder what that switch is gonna do. Hey, is he going back? Or is he trying to find me? Well, either way. Hey, buddy. Jesus. Can he cross the red line? He can't cross the red lines either. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's going to give me a chance to get quite a lead on these guys. And, uh... Flip that switch without being in too much danger. Three, two, one. Go for it. I have no idea what this switch will do, but I'm very excited to find out. We're behind the waterfall, I just realized. Faster, 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 faster. What is wrong with you? Well, that didn't work. My mistake was not getting him far, far enough away. Did I lose him? No, I didn't lose him. Okay. That's right. Come into this dead end. Move! Oh, look. So what is happening now? Now it's just folding back. Oh, it's so you can jump across. God damn it, game. Why do you hate me? Um, what? Did you know there were gray ghosts that move at super speed? I didn't. He moves three times as fast. The blue ghost goes twice as fast as the red ghost. The gray ghost goes three times as fast. To the point where you just can't beat him in a foot race. And then I jumped off a cliff. This game is torturous. Stop playing it then. No. Uh, anyway. Hey, kitten. Uh, this is, this is amazing. 
we're probably going to turn on, just because I don't hate myself that much, we're probably going to turn on the mod that slows down ghosts. You know? I don't think... Like, I know what the developer wants me to do. I can see the experience the developer wants me to have with this game. And I've had it. I have been punished. I have suffered for playing this game. It has been a brutalizing experience. For all and sundry. But at some point, I just have to say... I would like to beat this game. I would like to see the full story of the world of Infernium. And I don't want to spend 50 hours to do that. And I'm sorry, developer. If that means I'm not getting the complete experience of Infernium. But... I honestly feel like you're not going to mind too much. Because... You went out of your way... To include a mode... That allows me to do the thing I'm describing. And why would you do that if you didn't want someone to have the experience of beating your game, even if they sucked at games? I might be underthinking this. It's possible you are loaded with motives that I don't understand, and more to the point, could not understand, because of a lack of intellect. And if that is the case, I am betraying you. By not completing your game on the square. So this feels safe. Okay, here we go. Look at how fast this jerk is. How can I possibly get far enough ahead of him to make this work? He runs faster than you do. I have lost. I have accepted that I lost, but beyond that, beyond my failure, oh my god, I am running really low on light orbs. Oof. I know you can refill them, but, you know, I'm bad at the game, so I don't. I didn't even go and collect my health. Well, it doesn't matter. I was giving up on that area anyway. Anyway... Red Ash won't let him in his walkthrough. Oh, now you tell me. Uh, but I will say this. Carlos Coronado. If by some miracle you're ever listening to this. Despite my frustrations, I am still incredibly impressed by your game. I think you've done a stellar job. And I do look forward to seeing everyone, everything that it has to offer. Even if I do use shortcuts to get there. I'm not going to start looking up, you know, what to do on facts or anything. I want to explore the world. I just don't want to get killed over and over and over and over again by ghosts and then run out of lives and then have to restart the whole game. And it's possible I will lose your respect for that. And I will deserve to have lost your respect for doing that. Like, that's not a crazy thing to think, but at the same time, I, I just want to see everything this game has to offer, because I'm passionate about this game, and I hope, on some level, you can see that, if nothing else, my passion for the game is of value, even if I don't have the skill at it, or yes, the stick to to learn that uh, to beat the game that you might want to see in a player. So yeah, that is my that is my feeling about the game Infernium. It's incredible. It's it's beautiful. It's frightening. Like tonally, the music is perfectly suited. So moody, so interesting. 
Like, the way you've layered in the plot is super intriguing. Everything about this is just such a professional job that uh, yeah, I, I do feel a little ashamed that I'm not able to beat it on the square. And how do I get back to the sub-basement? Yes. Stairway to heaven. So where do you think... So here's the big question. Where do you think the two not... The, the double spike hands are? Because there's two basic places they could be. The double spike hands could A... Be down in the sewers. Or B... They could be up... Hey, buddy. Uh, they could be up in the across the rainy bridge in the Sky Fortress. Now, the sewers are the first place you get a look at in the game. Like, they're the first location you can easily find your way to. Because, you know, they're right here. They're on the way to the Sky Castle. But, the Sky Castle, for its part is the first, like, really visually compelling area in the game. So I could see that they might want you to be attracted to it first. So what I'm saying is, which is more likely? Sky Castle or the Sewers of Hell? This is the place where the game really starts to get its, uh... Dark Souls vibe going. Three, okay, well, this has three spikes. There's your answer. You're supposed to go up. All of this running back to the beginning, finding a bunch of nonsense. It was all a huge waste of Hoguru's time. I'm supposed to do the rainy bridge next. And then we're supposed to go back to the beginning and use the triangle to sort out the, uh... Is there... Is this a dead end? Can I not get back up? Gotta be able to get back up, don't I? Is that where I just was? Wait. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Alright, I was scared there for a second. Mm hmm So we'll go back up to the rainy bridge, and that's where we'll wrap this up. Whew! I remain impressed, Infernium. I remain very, very impressed. Quantum Conundrum? Come on. Oh, thought I could have skipped a step here, but apparently not. Oof. What is Quantum Conundrum, if I may ask? Oh, blue ghost watching from the edge of a cliff. You're such a fascinating character. What are you up to? What are your dreams, blue ghost on the edge of a cliff? How can I help you make them real? Blue ghost on the edge of a cliff. If I have to spend my last dollar, I will make your dreams a reality. I've gone down a weird rabbit hole with this character. I don't know if I feel great about that. Do 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 do. Yep, I never opened that shortcut. Because why would I? This is the wrong way. There's a whole puzzle room up there that I should explore at some point because I'm sure there's more dialogue things I want to get to, but I'm just not in the mood to do that puzzle room right now. I will do it after I've turned down the speed of the ghosts much, much later. 
But yeah, it's the way you can get into that area down there with the save room without um, actually just skipping through the window like I just did. And again, skipping through the window is not cheating. You have teleport powers. They expect you to use them. Uh, it's disappointed in you, Maddie, not of you. But yeah, it's you have a right to be disappointed in me. I've never heard of the game Quantum Conundrum. Or, I have completely played Quantum Conundrum and I've just forgotten the title. That happens a lot. I'm just going to make sure I got that. I'm sure I did. I'm like 80% sure I got that text, but it doesn't hurt. Takes me an extra, what, two seconds? Oh my god. You remember that god-awful documentary about Bill Watterson? Oh god, Where we yeah. turned it off half an hour in, because I'm like, you're telling me nothing about the far side? You're just talking about how much you like the far side? You mean Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, you'll understand why I said that in a second. Uh, far, uh, Calvin and Hobbes, you're just talking about why you like and why it was so important to you? Shut up and start talking about Calvin and Hobbes and its importance. And then he, it's clear, it became clear he was never going to do that. And so we stopped watching it after 20 minutes. Yeah. That was the new episode of Documentary Now. Seriously? It's about a guy. They did an episode about a guy who's obsessed with the far side. And so he goes to try and track down and meet Gary Larson. Oh my god. It's amazing. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it, it really is amazing. And they've exactly Wait, captured... Gary Larson dead? No. Oh, thank fine. Christ. Gary Larson's fine. He just retired. Although it would be really funny if he was, because yeah. that would be really dark, but very funny. Cause... It would be. But he, he worked on it for ten years. See, there he is. That's what the ghosts look like when they don't have the shawls on. Uh. See? Hey, pal. They're quite intimidating. So, yeah, he, like, goes to the, uh... And now I have no idea where he is. You have to go based on sound effects. Making this game completely unplayable for people who are hard, or hard of hearing. Like, literally, completely unplayable. Uh, I really thought... Ah, there's the switch. You notice that switch was unusually fast? It's because they know you're going to be being chased by a monster when you get here. A monster you can't see! But yeah, and how he's just like making a documentary about himself and has nothing to say about the far side. Oh, the floating lanterns, the beautiful rainy bridge. This game is a masterpiece. Oh, I have not heard of that. There was a zombie there, everybody. I could understand why someone would, upon having that happen, stop playing the game and never load it again. Like, if you wanted to do that, I wouldn't have any less respect for you after seeing that happen. I'm not the kind of person who would do that, but I get why you would. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru, and this has been Infernium, a game I'm obsessed with in a not entirely helpful or sane way. Uh, if you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, uh, anything like that, go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to be here for the live stream and these games get played, check out the Discord channel. Uh, uh, that's where I announce them. We'll see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir. No, that doesn't sound great, Maddie. But to each their own. I seriously wonder what Twitch integration would be like in this game. Can the people watching on Twitch see where the monsters are and warn you? That would be funny. Although, with the lag, I don't know how that would work. So, that is that. Thanks to everybody who dropped by the stream. As always, I appreciate it. I will see you back here tomorrow night where we're going to try playing Rico again. Hopefully it functions more smoothly on uh, 
excuse me, uh, functions more smoothly on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, PC. PC than it did on PS4. Yeah, probably. Um, so I'll see you back here for that. But until then, I'm going to say oh, au revoir.